Hey guys, welcome all of you. In this video, we are studying this connection establishment in computer networks uh, in a TCP/IP. Okay, so how the connection has to be and uh, between two hosts. Okay, so three protocol scenarios scenarios for establishing a connection using a three-way handshake. So CR basically denotes four. CR basically denotes four connection request. Okay, and uh, this is the first diagram, which is a normal operation. How normal connection is established? Okay, first uh, the host one is sending connection request with sequence number X. Okay, then host two will send sequence number Y. Uh, what it will do uh, if it is a 8000 sequence number is 8000 so it will do 8001 in acknowledgement so increase the sequence number by one and then send an acknowledgement yes it is ready to connect that okay uh, so then host one send some data with, with the same sequence number and with the acknowledgement which sent it by the host two okay so th that is a normal operation but what if in case there is an old and duplicate connection request found appearing of or out of normal then then uh, then there is a one solution it will reject that request okay okay it, it will reject the accept uh, accept acceptation of data when it sends acknowledgement it rejects it okay then the third condition duplicate connection request and duplicate get acknowledgement both are appeared then simply it rejects here yeah. okay while acknowledging data it rejects <coughs> what is connection release okay so connection release is like as we have uh, established a connection we have to release connection so there are two hosts host one and host two okay so first uh, these three steps we have studied in connection establishment now here as uh, it is host one is sending some data okay and before that host two uh, requested of disconnection so what after disconnection request there is no data acceptance okay so it it is called loss of data okay to a uh, problem okay so uh, connection releases four protocol scenarios for releasing a connection okay first is the normal case of a three-way handshake then final acknowledgement closed so this is the host one and host two so you can send dish connection request plus timer with the timer it it sends the dish connection request with the timer sends send dish connection request with this timer release then the same thing do host two then release the connection host one release the connection with the an acknowledgement then with that acknowledgement host two also release the connection that is the normal normal way but in the uh, some in some kinds there are uh, acknowledgement lost if an acknowledgement lost uh, if the acknowledgement is lost the connection is released as time is out okay let me uh, for example here this uh, he, this host one sent the acknowledgement but host two uh, in with some reason he uh, doesn't get that acknowledgement but the timer time outed so that's why it released the connection that is the, the these are two two protocols in here okay then other two are response loss and response loss and subsequent lost okay so let me see the C1. host one it is sending the same way okay so the second one's disconnection request closed then what this do is again send in disconnection request then it released and okay so if dish connection request closed it sends again the disconnection request okay now 
response lost and subsequently drs lost so both sides are drs are lost so both side of disconnection request are lost okay so time out but the second one's time is still running it sends another disconnection request but it's again lost so what it is do is time out and down then release the connection so basically if the time is out then they have to release the connection there is no other way okay data transfer connection connection establishment using three band sync this kind of actual uh, structure which is followed in the this connection as the placement and data transferring okay so thank you so much